Volksvertegenwoordigers van bijna alle Latijns-Amerikaanse landen in het Caribisch gebied zijn in Suriname bij elkaar gekomen om de klimaatcrisis te bespreken. De vierde vergadering van het parlementair netwerk van klimaatverandering wordt namelijk in Suriname gehouden. DNA-voorzitter Jennifer Geerling Simons, die bestuurslid is van Pearl Americas, heeft vandaag de opening verricht. De conferentie duurt twee dagen. Het thema van dit jaar is Strengthening Climate Action Through Legislation and Parliamentary Oversight. Geerling Simons benadrukte dat meer dan ooit er acties moeten worden ondernomen om de aarde te beschermen tegen toekomstige rampen. The Climate Network of Pearl Americas does not just discuss problems of a changing climate and the science and the debate surrounding this topic. We actually assist parliaments of the Americas to take action in their own countries and in their own ways. Time for just talking is definitely over when the IPCC told the world that we have less than 12 years to avert climate disaster catastrophe, they called it, and in the fine print, several scientists add that it might be that we even have less time. The main objective of this meeting will be, uh, therefore, to showcase ways that parliamentarians are addressing climate change, to raise political will and to respond to the urgency to take climate action, because legislators have the power to positively affect the outcome in our world. Om de strijd tegen klimaatverandering aan te gaan, moet elke acteur in elke samenleving betrokken worden, vindt Geerling Simons. Een van de belangrijke actoren in de samenleving is volgens haar vrouwen en kinderen. Daarom moet elk land er naartoe werken dat de rechten van deze groep beter gewaarborgd worden, zegt Simons. We have to make strong societies where human rights and therefore women's rights and well-being can be protected even in difficult situations. This means not legislation, not other types of regulations, but changing hearts and minds of people. The rights of women, children, and other vulnerable groups have to be in our hearts, in our minds, and we need to educate our people to make sure that the disaster doesn't lead another disaster, that of deteriorating human rights. I invite all parliamentarians present here today so to actively participate in the dialogues and activities of the next two days and to go back to their countries with eagerness to lead concrete climate actions that will make their countries more resilient and support the successful implementation of the Paris Agreement. DNA-voorzitter Jennifer Geerling Simons vandaag bij de opening van de Fourth Gathering of the Parliamentary Network on Climate Change in Royal Terrarica.